Now let's look at a division problem in a different base. Here we have a table of values giving us multiplication in base 5. To use the table, we notice we have the digits 0 through 4 on our first column and 0 through 4 on our first row. We would take a value in our first column, multiply it times a value in our top row. For instance, if we take 2 multiplied times 3, and then go down to where the row and column intersect in order to see that the product would be 1, 1 in base 5. Let's use that table to perform the following division. We have 3, base 5, divided into 1, 2, 1, 3, base 5. Well, as we would in base 10, we would note that 3 cannot divide into 1, so we would move over to our second di digit and pick it up. 3 divided into 12. But be careful, this is not 3 divided into 12 base 10. We can't write down 4. Instead, we have to take our table, look at the row that includes 3 multiplied times one of the other digits, and look for the value that is closest to 12 and yet less than or equal to 12. That value would be 1, 1. We note that 3 times 2 would give us 1, 1. So we're going to write the 2 down and then multiply through. 3 times 2 would be 1, 1. Write it down under the 1, 2 and subtract. Now, we just noted that 3 times 2 was 1, 1, so we can see that division again. When we subtract, we get 0, so we bring down our 3. And now this part's easy. 3 times 3 is going to be 1, and we could multiply through and get a remainder of 0. And so we end up with 2, 2, 1 in base 5 as our result.